everybody and welcome to our YouTube channel. We, we are, are as, as always, always your hosts, Arne and Carlos and, and Freya. And Freya is here today and we are in our garden. Uh, today uh, is June the 15th and we thought we'd show you what our garden looks like in, I would call this early, early summer, late spring in Norway. And uh, our garden is actually quite beautiful right now, even though nothing, not much is, is in bloom, but some of the nicest things are in bloom right now. And we want to show you a little bit about that. So come on, let's <laughs> go have a look. Since we're so high up in the mountains, our, our, everything is late. So yes. this uh, Sirin, was that in English? Lilac. Lilacs. They don't bloom until July here in Norway. Or middle of June or July. Yeah, no, we're in middle of June now, so they don't bloom until July. Yeah, <coughs> July. Yeah, we are in middle of June. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> See, it's a very strange year because it was very cold in May, so everything was slower than normal. So like our uh, blue poppy, normally they're like this size and now they're small. We have mm. them over here. They're blooming, starting to bloom. This is the Mechonopsis, the blue poppy. Yeah, let and me they're, pass. They're, they're spreading everywhere in the yes. garden. They're, they're someone coming there. That's the mother plant, and there's another one. And there are like a little bit everywhere. And they have this <coughs> incredibly beautiful blue color. As you can see, they are um, they are so blue. <clears throat> and we really love these. These are yeah, this is the pride favorite, of the garden. Favorite flowers. And normally they are this size, and they bloom around midsummer. But this year they start like two weeks before or something. So mm -hmm. it's a strange spring. Yes. Slash summer. So what else is going on over here? Yes, we're working on a new flower bed. Yeah, we had this, <clears throat> uh, like you know, for the hedge. A plant for the hedge that we put here and it took over the whole thing. This part of the garden is still uh, a work in progress. We've just, uh, we're replacing the flower beds and we had to put all this uh, stuff down because we have been using this composting earth that is done with bokashi, a Japanese uh, way of composting that we will show you at some point. And it's supposed to not be something very attractive to rats and mice and dogs. So, you know, they kind <laughs> of normal. let it, they, you do the bokashi and the dogs don't like it. However, we have this the dog that like loves it. it. So we put all that stuff there to prevent her from digging. Yeah. So she's very naughty. This is uh, some of the, um, what do you call it? Uh, the, uh, delphinium. Delphinium, is that the word? I think so. Yeah. They spread also all over, so there's more in there. And this one is light blue with white. And it, it's kind of cool because normally in, in every garden book, they say like you have, when you have these flowers, you have to put like uh, pinner. Yeah, sticks, sticks to kind and, of attach them so that they don't bend. So they don't bend, break. but we let them be like this. And it's sometimes it's quite windier. And what we get is a really strong yeah. Stem, stem. Yeah, like a stem. Stem on the on the plants, and they get really big. Mm -hmm. So, if it's windy, don't put too much support on them. And uh, these are going to be full of purple flowers, very, very strong pur purple color. In about three weeks' time, yeah. we will have flowers all over the place here. This uh, is a very old, traditional flower from Norwegian gardens. I don't know the English name, but... And this plant is called a Veronica, 
and uh, it also blooms uh, in the middle of June. So mm -hmm. already now you can see the little blooms. And it's really nice because when it is in full bloom, it looks like the flowers are floating in the air. It's quite beautiful. And this is a very old plant. I think it's the oldest plant that we have in this garden. Yeah, this is from the farm where I grew up. So this is from my great grandmother's bed. Yes. And in Norway, Norwegian, this is called Cossack Veronica. I think. Or Siberian Veronica. Or Siberia. maybe? Yeah, and in Swedish it's por porcelain Veronica. Yes. It's really nice. But it's a Veronica. And it's beautiful. And we have these yeah. giant lilies of the valley. If you go further south, like if you go to Oslo, this blooms really early in spring. Up here, they start now and they stay for a long time. So this here may not look like much, but uh, <laughs> in August, this has been growing until it's quite tall. Now this one is normally like maybe up there. Yeah. So it just pops up from nothing and it had huge white flowers. On the top. On the top. And it's really nice because when we are upstairs in the house, our house is there. And so when we go upstairs and we can enjoy this beautiful view, uh, from the from the rooms upstairs and see all the flowers so it's very nice so this tree is a Swedish birch is it called birch birch tree, birch yes. tree and it has these special leaves and it's quite amazing that we we had, had make it grow up here because we're high up in the mountains but this one has been there for many years and it's just getting bigger and more beautiful yeah it's beautiful I like the leaves because they are a little bit yeah. uh, different from a regular birch tree. And we have birch trees in some of the beds and that's because we want to have those like an umbrella because with the water there is so much sun and it, on a sunny day it almost dry out so we have to put a lot of water and we think that this will help. Yeah, in about 30 years. In 30 years. <laughs> This is very nice. It's actually a rhubarb, but you can't eat it. It's, uh, it's poisonous. It's uh, not uh, edible. It's a decorative plant. Uh, and it's called in Norwegian a pridrabarb, which is a decorative rhubarb. And you get these really beautiful red flowers. It starts yes. there. And this will be a quite big in, in a few weeks as yeah. well. You can also have this with white flowers. We have only the one with the red. And the, this uh, stem, stem. stems, we use this in the bee house, insect hotel. And since we're so high up in the mountains, everything is later. So we get the rhododendron now in June. Yes, and our rhododendrons don't do very well here in our garden. But these rhododendrons that are a little bit uh, smaller, they get covered in snow in the winter. And so there is a protection for them. They're kind of in a little blanket of their own, cozy. And so they don't freeze. So the short rhododendrons do quite well. Yeah. We have an even smaller one over here, the purple one. We've got the red one and the, uh, this one is going to be blooming. I think this one is white. This one is also blooming. So this yeah. is, I have to remove some of it. Yeah. But they don't give up, so we keep them in the garden. And we have little puppies coming here on the, on the ground and we try not to uh, take them out. They're wild growing. Uh, wild puppies and we actually like that they come out on the path so we leave them and they look pretty much like the one you see over there the orange one uh, on that side and we also have a lot of the geraniums in the garden because we like the, the way they covers up like this this was just two you no know, three small plants mm. and they make a really nice carpet and there's so many different types of these flowers so it's interesting to collect them because you're always looking for new and this is another one the same family yeah so most everything you see here is coming up from the ground from scratch every year 
They're all perennials, except for some bushes that we have. And uh, yeah, it takes a little while, but in two weeks time, it will all be covered. Like, also like this one, these leaves are just nothing right now, but this will be a huge plant with red flowers. I don't remember the name again, but we're so bad with names. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> well, it's more important to have it in the garden. Than to know the name. <laughs> <laughs> For us. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a spring garden. Uh, looking quite nice uh, it will be looking it will be at its best in uh, two weeks time i think yeah uh, that's when it really kicks in and the season seriously starts for us uh, until then, then it... it's kind of spring here so we have mm -hmm. we have a late spring uh, in in the mountains where we live in norway that's for sure so this is a little update from our spring garden uh, by the time we publish this, we're going to be in full summer and we're going to be on holidays. So uh, we won't uh, be around. Well, we'll be around here, but <laughs> we won't we be working. Be we will be working. <laughs> so anyway, we hope you've enjoyed a little tour and uh, we look forward to bringing you new episodes again uh, after the summer. Bye. Bye. almost forgot uh, if you're not subscribing to our YouTube channel we'd love to have you as a subscriber so hit on that button now and begin to subscribe if you like the video give us a big thumbs up or if you hated it thumbs down it's okay we can take it bye